Hi YouTube, it's me Sandy. I am back again with another video for you guys. Um, this one is not my best work, but um, hey, I want to show you guys that I'm real and even sometimes when I work on tumblers, they are not up to my standards. But I am going to show you how I did this softball themed tumbler. Um, you might like it and if you do, good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, you guys. So I purchased this skinny tumbler from Hobby Lobby. And what you're going to need is your glue. I choose to use the Bob Smith Industry 5-Minute Epoxy. He also does, um, I'm assuming it's a he because his name's Bob. <laughs> but there is also a 15-minute uh, Bob Smith Epoxy and also a 30-minute Cure two-part epoxy from Bob Smith. I just personally prefer the five-minute epoxy. It Once it dries um, in five minutes, <laughs> the, the stones don't move at all. I just personally do like that type of glue. Um, and what I do is I just squirt on. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over the whole sound, the word squirt, but um, yeah, so you just squirt equal amounts. I just eyeball it. I don't think you can do wrong. Um, buy that glue, but once it dries, it is on there. These stones are cemented in. So if you are looking into trying a different glue, you can purchase the Bob Smith um, glue from uh, Hobby Lobby as well. And I, I personally, I like to mix my stones. Um, I just like to make a, a, my own little mix. So in here, I have different... Um, shades I have two different shades of red um, one of them is a little bit brighter than the other and I just like the depth that it puts um, when when they're mixed together so you'll see there I think all of these that I'm using are SS 16 so I just go ahead and fill in the thread of my softball tumbler um, yeah so I, I personally like it if you just want to use one type of red that's perfect I just had these already mixed from another project, I think. I'm trying to remember what project I, I did where I had to mix these, but I wasn't about to separate each one. Um, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. So this is what I'm working with. I don't have much to say about this, um, so I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys watch me stone this part, and um, I'll come back on when... I feel the need. <laughs> All right, so I finished that one thread. Look how pretty it looks. The the mix of the dark and the lighter red are so pretty. They work so well together, so that was a happy mistake. Now I'm going to go ahead and start on with the other threading of the softball. That rhinestone tray that you see right there, it's not a must. I'm telling you, like I, I barely purchased those when I started making these videos. Um, but you don't need it, but it does make the job go by a whole lot faster. If you happen to notice that majority of your stones are flipped over, you just give it a little wiggle wiggle and they flip over by themselves. So look into that. I actually purchased, I think it's a pack of 16 or 20 or something like that on Amazon. Um, and yes, these I use with every project. Another must is a good rhinestone picker upper. I, I personally um, use the Crystal Katana. I know that some people don't typically like to use, you know, name brand when they're starting out. But if you're looking into rhinestoning um, and trying to make your, your buck last a lot longer, get the Crystal Katana. It's a little bit pricey up front. Um, you can, as, as the wax tip starts doling down, you can purchase just the wax tip um, instead of having to purchase a whole new tool. This um, Crystal Katana um, is also another must. 
in my book. So look into getting that. You also can pick that up from Hobby Lobby or uh, CrystalNinja.com. I've done plenty of projects with this one wax tip on the Crystal Katana um, and it's still pretty sharp. The knockoff versions of this um, tend to dull a lot faster. Um, but yeah, if you're starting out, get the knockoff, I guess. Um, but if you're looking into, you know, being more productive with your time, the Crystal Katana is, is the way to go. Um, the, the knockoff versions of the Crystal Katana tend to dull a lot faster. Um, and they just don't grip the stones as easy and fast um, as the Crystal Katana. So, yes. And I know I told you guys that this tumbler um, was not up to my standards. You'll see here, and I'll explain to you and I'll show you the parts that um, I screwed up on. I have um, already posted this, um, a clip of this spinning on my tumbler spinner um, on a Facebook page. And um, a lot of people say that they can't tell and they love it, but um, this one is one for the books. It's just going to sit on the shelf. I'm making most of these uh, videos and most of them are for Christmas gifts for family and friends. Um, this one, not so much, but just keep watching so you can see, you know, that not all of my tumblers come out gorgeous looking. I mean, not that, not that the other ones look gorgeous or whatever, but it, the other ones that I have shared have been up to my standards. This one, not so much, but just stick with me. I'll let you guys know and give you my tips and tricks and see maybe if you want to try out this tumbler, um, you can learn from my mistakes. So I went ahead and I looked at the stones on the side here. They're still laying out when I'm doing the voice, the, this voiceover, and these are SS16, all of them. So um, yeah, they fit perfectly. Even though you don't fill up every part of the decal, it's fine. It it really is fine. Um, that's why you want to use the same color decal that your stones are, so that way um, you don't have to, um, I guess, fill in the gaps as, as much as you would if you were to have used the same color decal. For the white part, I purchased these white stones. They are from uh, Be Createful. I swear by that um, that company. These stones are just gorgeous. All of them. I wish I can order every single one from this site. Um, but for this tumbler, I just used um, the plain white stones um, from Be Createful in SS20. I also uh, do have filler stones as well in SS16 um, and SS6, just in case. And you know what? I'm going to spoil this for you guys. I use a lot of the SS6. Um, I'll let you know when, but pretty much the SS, uh, excuse me, the um, 20 ounce skinny tumbler that I'm using here fits the SS20 all the way around if I did not have that decal. So 
yeah so I just squirt a little bit of the um, the glue I do typically do four rows at a time that's just how I do it if you do it differently great um, this is just how I do it you guys so keep in mind um, there's enough room in the pond for all the fish that want to rhinestone and don't be afraid to start a project I wish I um, saved my first tumbler that I ever made you guys my first tumbler that I ever made was horrible the stones were jumbo but you know what um, I was happy with it and I used that cup like no other but I wish I had it dang it um, but no I don't know what happened to it I think I may have thrown it away or something don't shoot me don't come after me um, but yeah your tumblers it's a it's a lot of trial and error and I'm just here to show you guys you know where where I came from and to also show you guys that um, you will mess up on tumblers no matter how good you are so this I'm just going ahead and fill it fill in the first few rows the epoxy, the two-part epoxy from Bob Smith dries um, really quick. Um, well, in five minutes, it's really fully cured. So I thoroughly enjoy that, especially when I'm laying out the foundation um, like this right here. Um, none of the stones move, so. You always want to go back and make sure that none of your stones move out of place. Um, the five minute epoxy that I use here, um, it does uh, set up in five minutes, but I would say probably about two and a half to three minutes after you applied it, it becomes tacky and it, it does allow you to still um, kind of move your stones around and then once it's 100% dry, they don't move. And you can see here, um, I've already set my foundation row and now I'm moving on to the rest of the body. I like to fill in around the decal as I go. Some people like to fill around the decal um, first and then go in with whatever method that they're using. Um, but I, I personally, I like to fill in um, as I go. You can see there already I have used some SS6. I use a lot of SS6 um, stones in here, right there. Um, so yeah, you. I just don't like to see any gaps, but always remember you guys, just like the Crystal Ninja says, um, gaps are gonna happen, so just embrace them. And oh, it's hard, but I, I'm learning to embrace my gaps. <laughs> If you haven't already, go watch my last video that I posted. Um, it, it had a name decal on it, and I mentioned my dogs. Um, and I mentioned one of my dogs. He is a German short hair pointer. He is, uh, I want to say he's about a year and four months now. Um, and I'll show you a clip at the end of the video. So just stick with me, um, even though that, that this tumbler is a fail in my eyes. Um, at least you'll get a happy video at the end <laughs> So just stick with me you guys watch this video until the end so you can catch that little clip that I was able to get for you guys I need to learn how to find music to put on here um, I don't know I was listening back to this and I have no idea what this guy is saying he could be saying bad words I don't know, but the app that I use to make my videos, um, they're very, uh, they have their own music on there. So that's all I have. I'm going to learn how to put in my own music without getting my videos um, demonetized on YouTube. So <laughs> don't mind some of the music that I, that I play on here. It's just what comes with the app. <laughs> These white stones are not forgiving at all. 
And I think that that's where I'm having the hard time um, at with my fillers. These stones show every imperfection. And maybe, you know, that's why this tumbler is not one of my favorites. Um, but maybe I'll use these stones and try again. Um, right now, I'm personally not in love, but I love the stones. I just don't like how they don't camouflage um, the fillers, but yeah, maybe I'll use these stones as a mix in another project, or maybe I might just do this project again, um, knowing what I know now. My husband, you know, I have a really, a really good husband. I have to be honest. My husband, he loves to do, you know, for others, and um, he goes out of his way for others. He took my son right now. So right now, I'm currently doing this voiceover because I don't have my son with me. But my son, my husband, took my son to go and do some community service in our in our town where we live. Um, and they're gonna clean up and pick up trash along the highway and stuff like that. It's a good core value for my son and I'm just so happy that I have the husband that I do. So a lot of the times, you know, it's hard to find a good guy, um, but my husband, he really is a good guy. And I'm not gonna cry, you guys, but I really do love him. And um, even though we have our ups and downs like every, every marriage does, He's, he's just an all-around good guy. You know, you can call him if you need something, and he will drop everything to go and help you. He takes really good care of me. He roots me on with my YouTube videos, with whatever craft that I'm doing. He's 100% supportive, and um, yeah. So, just want to let you guys know that my son is not with me when I'm doing this voiceover. I'm not neglecting him, and I'm not neglecting my husband. I actually probably should have went with them to go and... Um, do some, you know, put in work for my town, but I have to get this video and this voiceover done for you guys. It's it's just something that makes me have all the feels, and I love making these videos for you guys, so I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, and let's just take a moment. <laughs> um, I know y'all probably don't pay attention. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but look at my new manicure, you guys. Look at that. Ooh. The other, my, um, my other set that I had on before these, you probably want to rewind it because you probably didn't even notice, but they were grown out. They were lifting and, uh, I went ahead and got a new, um, I got a fill and I chose glitter and these are also the same glitter, uh, color that is on my toesies. A quick tip to make your rhinestoning project go a lot smoother is you want to lay out everything that you need. You don't want to have to be reaching for other stones and things like that, opening the bags and, and putting them on your, your tray and all that stuff. So you want to get everything you need and have it laid out within reach. All right, so since I'm stoning this and this is a 30 minute video, I wanna get let, let you guys know a little bit about me. I am 30, 
What, what am I? No, I lied. I'm 26. No, just kidding. I'm, I think I'm 32. <laughs> I stopped counting at 26, but I'm going to be 33 on the 28th of April. I am a Taurus, and everything you hear about Taurus is everything that I am. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I am going to be 33. I have one son. His name is Noah, and two dogs, two hamsters, and I think one of those hamsters are pregnant. So we might be having little baby hamsters. That's so exciting. I'm originally from uh, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, me and my husband currently are not stationed there we are stationed in North Carolina um, we've been in North Carolina for about seven years now and I love the military life I love making new friends um, it's hard to make friends but when you find you know your group of friends that just complement everything about you um, is the best um, what else we enjoy doing outdoors stuff we like to go camping we like to go fishing. We enjoy everything outdoors. I need to start being more active. Um, we have bikes, bicycles that we purchased and we were going hard <laughs> for like a month riding our bikes and now they're just collecting dust. So my husband asked me what I want for my birthday and I really wanted to tell him for him to take my son and just let me sleep in bed all day, um, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm such a homebody. A lot of the time but um, I told him that I would like to go and get breakfast somewhere that has eggs Benedict I have been wanting eggs Benedict for a long time I know IHOP has them I think they still do I don't know I haven't been to IHOP in a while but I have been wanting eggs Benedict so I told him for my birthday I would like to go to a place that has eggs Benedict possibly unlimited mimosas um, and then go and take our bikes out at one of the trails that we have here in North Carolina. And after that, go and grab lunch. And then after that, I asked him if I could possibly stay in bed and maybe watch TikTok and not be bothered with anything. Um, I am a stay-at-home mom. He has blessed me with the ability to stay home and be with my son. Um, so that was that that was one of my biggest dreams you know to, was to be a mom and it is it still is um but a lot of the times you know i'm taking care of him taking care of my son and taking care of my husband cooking cleaning you know all that jazz um but i do like to be left alone and i can't be alone in that i know that the, there's other moms that have more kids than me i just have one and i i don't know how other women do it with multiples um but yeah, we just have that one, but I do really enjoy laying in bed. I want to lay in bed as soon as I get out of bed. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's kind of like an oxymoron. I love going out and being outdoors and doing, you know, outdoorsy stuff like camping and, and everything, but I am also a homebody. I love being home. And um, yeah, so that's just a few things about me. Um, I'm a normal person. I, I enjoy making these videos. So, just wanted to let you guys know while you're watching me, Rhinestone, um, that you guys know a little bit about me. Oh, and also, for everyone who didn't ask, my favorite color is green. Forest green, any type of green, to be honest with you. And the next um, Tumblr that I'm going to post on here, the next tutorial, is going to be a green Tumblr for myself, I think. I don't know. We'll see if I keep it. If I love it, I'll keep it. If I love it a lot, then I'll give it away as a Christmas gift or something. But yeah, um, stay tuned to my next video as well. I'm going to be doing a green tumbler. Do you see how visible those fillers are right there? I just, I can't get over it. And I'm sorry, you guys, if you don't, you know, see it or if this is something that you like. I just, it's, it's irking me and it's bothering me. And I just, I can't fall in love with this tumbler because you can just look at those, all those fillers there. I just, I can't find myself to love this tumbler. I don't know. But 
I just don't like how the fillers are so visible. Maybe that's why I like the Lux crystal, um, the diamond crystals, because they kind of camouflage all of your imperfections. But yeah, there's you'll see towards the end of this video um, when I start working from the bottom up how the lines just did not meet up. And that's okay. That's all right. I'm going to possibly um, attempt to do this tumbler again maybe. Um, if it comes out good, I'll, I'll share the video with you guys so you can see my, pro my progress with it. Um, or maybe I just won't. I don't know. I'm still like, this is a love-hate tumbler. It was bothering me so much yesterday. My husband was, was freaking out how bad I was mad. <laughs> How much I was mad about the fact that it wasn't coming out you know I spent so much time doing these videos for you guys and I had a vision in mind with this one and I thought I had the honeycomb method down pat and I, I don't know what happened on this one um, let me know in the comments below if you like it uh, maybe I might just give it away so I don't know if you notice that some of the stones have some wax residue from the crystal katana. I, uh, you're not supposed to press so hard, okay? So when when you pick up your stones, you don't need to press so hard. Um, and if you feel the need to need, the need to need, if you feel the need to need, um, if you feel the need to press hard on the stone to pick it up, most likely um, you have some glue residue on it. So just give it a little um, a little scrape with your fingernail and it should work like it did at the beginning when you first bought it. Um, but you'll see that, that some of the stones on here have the black residue from the wax on the, on the crystal katana or from the crystal katana. Um, in a week when um, these, this tumbler is 100% you know, dry and I give it its first bath, I'm sure that that's gonna come off. You know, you'll see some, there's some stones right there that have a little bit of the wax on it. Um, but yeah, once you give it a bath, the wax should come off if you happen to get wax on your stones. Okay, so I worked a little bit further down on my tumbler, but I turned it around um, to put down the foundation of the rhinestones at the bottom of my tumbler. This is another tip of what I do um, because another pet peeve of mine is having, well, not another pet peeve. The main pet peeve of mine is crooked lines. And um, I do it this way. I start from the bottom after I've gone so far working from the top down. I turn the tumbler over and I work from the bottom up. I like to have the last row straight. Um, so that's just how I make sure that um, my last straight, my last line is that straight. Sorry, I'm zoning out because I'm seeing the stones in fast motion move. And uh, I want to go. I want to like jump into this video and just fix it immediately. But I do see it. <laughs> I do see them moving. See, yeah. And boo! I didn't get a clip of it being completed, but here it is in all its glory. Take a look. 
I mean, she's okay. She's a solid six. <laughs> I say a solid six. I see all the flaws. Other people don't. But hey, so you made it to my vid the end of my video. Let's go ahead and watch the clip that I was telling you about earlier. This is Ammo. He has issues. He found my giraffe that I had downstairs in my craft room and he drug it outside one day and got it all dirty. So now that's an outside toy. <laughs> Look how big it is. He loves it. 